right now it's a no for me. <laughs> Within three seconds of the baby coming out, the doctor starts talking about baby number two. Okay. Oh, that was really? Like for reals, yeah. The baby was, or the, the doctor was literally talking, well, you're next, baby. I'm like, wait a second. Wait a minute. I just put the, one, the, the this one on my chest. What do you mean? <laughs> That's pretty kid. Crazy. You know, I'm also really focused on my career, and um, I want to keep focusing on my career. There's a lot coming up and a lot happening. So right now I am on maternity leave, but, you know, soon-ish I will be going back and, you um, focusing on work as well. So I, I have to see how I can balance everything, having Taylor and Brayden already, a husband, a dog, career, a new baby. So I'm gonna see how I can balance it before we decide. They're excited that they did mention they're missing Heather a little bit. Yeah, uh, a lot of my kids have been with babies. So Tark's really stepped in as the daddy role and puts them to bed every night, takes them on little trips and does like fun things. Cause I'm, you know, it's hard for me to leave right now and it's yeah. hard for me to put them to bed cause I'm feeding the baby, but yeah, Brayden definitely said he's missing me. Um, but I know that this time will pass. The newborn phase is always the hardest. Yeah, what I'm it's, hearing. It's just right now, so we're keeping them busy. I'm, I'm yeah. taking them skiing this weekend. Last weekend, I took them ice skating. Yeah. We went, so just we're doing things nonstop. And we I have love. a lot of help family. Our moms have been incredible. Like I have never appreciated my mom and my mother-in-law so much than I do now. And it's just very comforting having them around. Well, we went to my final doctor appointment and it was supposed to be the final. And um, since I'm 35 years old, I was doing stress tests on the baby. So they monitor the heart rate and his movements. And he definitely was not moving as much as he usually did. And she had asked me, how has, how has his movements been? And I said, they've been a little less. That's when she said, okay, you guys are going to the hospital right now. We need to monitor you. And, you know, I was definitely caught off guard. I did not think that was going to happen. And once I actually went into labor, everything happened very fast. And throughout the labor, his heart rate was dropping. If I'd moved to a certain side, his heart rate would drop. If I'd lay down, his heart rate would drop. Once I started pushing, uh, the nurses said, oh, you're probably gonna be pushing for two to three hours. They could already see his head coming out. That was fast. And so wow. that's when the doctor was called. She got there within 20 minutes because his heart rate was dropping so low and staying low. They couldn't have me push anymore, but he was ready. He was right there, ready to come. So by the time she got there, it was like all, the whole team was there. They called in a bunch of nurses and they said his heart rate's staying too low. Uh, we need to get him out. So they used the vacuum to help pull him out. And they said basically I had four pushes and then they were going to have to take me into an emergency C-section because his heart rate. So I did it. I burst every single blood vessel in my face. Yeah. Uh, Tarek watched his head come out and he encouraged me like, he's here, push, push, push. And then he came out. So... We did it, but the vacuum was used to help get him out because it, it did get scary for a little bit. But you kind of just have to like be strong and I had to focus and just my, my main focus was getting Tristan out.